Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Welcome to the word of the day. My name's Tony Valenti. I'm one of the lay pastors here at Calvary. Uh, today we're going to talk about Colossians chapter 3, verses 9 and 10, which is basically a culmination of what Sean told you yesterday in verses 5 through 8 about putting to death the, the earthly in you. And verses 9 and 10 go on to say, Do not lie to one another, seeing that you have put off the old self with its practices, and have put on, and, and with its practices and have put on the new self, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of its creator. Ladies and gentlemen, this is telling you and basically saying Paul's talking to the church of Colossae about taking inventory. Look at what you're doing. Be aware of what you're doing. Don't lie about it. Be upfront about it. Because if we, if we go to James, it says if we confess our sins to one another and pray for one another, then we can be healed. Okay? And be truthful. Because the only one that's going to live with a lie is you. If you listen to David in the Psalms, he says that he has lied against nobody but the Lord. And uh, he confesses that. So, Remember, as Paul tells us and tells the church and the Colossian church, not to go back to being who you were. That didn't work. If you're like me, it didn't work for 25 years. And then I accepted the Lord. And when I get on his way of being, it's an amazing ride. And if you're having trouble with getting rid of your earthly self, as Paul told you about, or as Sean told you about yesterday, and Paul tells us about in, in Colossians, come to Monday night. We have Celebrate Recovery. You can learn how to do this. It's been a wonderful help for, for a lot of us, okay? So don't go back to who you were before you asked Jesus to be your Lord and Savior, and if you haven't asked him to be your Lord and Savior, take this time now to say that prayer. Say, Lord, I know I'm a sinner. I need you to help me. I can't do it on my own. And move on from there. And then go on with renewing your mind by reading and applying the word of God. Because we know, and we say here at Calvary, at least once a weekend, that if you read and you apply the word of God, he will change your life. So Calvary, take the day, take time during the day, to think about what you're saying, think about being truthful, and read and apply the word of God. And your day will change, I promise. Have a great day.